Example 4.1. In this example, we have an electrical wire of a given diameter, which is surrounded by an insulation layer. The whole system is exposed to convection. The conduction of the wire is given. We need to evaluate how the thermal resistance is affected by the eccentricity of the wire with respect to the insulation layer. This system is considered to be a steady, two-dimensional. It has constant properties, and we assume that the temperature going in and going out at the wire are equal to each other. Let's start the analysis with the concentric wire. Using the information that we got from example 3.6, we know that the critical radius is equal to the value of the conductivity divided by the convection coefficient. For this particular problem, this value is going to be equal to 23 millimeters. Using this information, we could find out the critical thickness, which is basically the critical radius minus the radius that we currently have, and gives us that the thick critical thickness is equal to 21 millimeters. If we calculate the thermal resistance for this particular example, we know that the conduction thermal resistance per unit length is equal to the natural log of R2 divided by R1 divided by 2 pi k. And using the information, we could say simply that is the natural log of the critical radius divided by the radius that we have, which is d over 2 divided by 2 pi k. And for this particular problem, this value is equal to about 1.0 mk watts. Let's now evaluate the eccentric wire case. If we notice from table 4.1, we could see that this system corresponds to case 7. This is the schematic, the restrictions, and the shape factor. In order to calculate the shape factor, we first need to calculate the eccentricity value z. z is equal to half the critical thickness of the problem. For the values given, this eccentricity is equal to 0.01 meters. To calculate the thermal resistance using the uh, shape factor, we're going to use the following relationship. It's simply 1 over S over K. For the information that we have, the value for this uh, thermal resistance is going to be equal to 0.91 mk over watt. If you notice, compared to the 1 meter Kelvin per watt um, obtained in the concentric wire, we could see that the thermal resistance is reduced by about 10% when the wire is not placed uh, concentrically with the insulation. Therefore, it's very important to have concentricity between the insulation and the wire to have much better values of resistance. 